We've been waiting for this moment for so very long, and guess what, guys? We were one of the first, the first ever, to switch it up. What's up, my friends? It's Ray back here with a very highly requested video that you guys wanted to see, and you probably already know what it's all about. As you know by now, I had an awesome opportunity to be one of the first to play and go hands-on with the Nintendo Switch. You've seen it in action, you've seen the gameplay footage, but now it's time to express my opinion on it. Did I like it? Did I like what I saw? Was I impressed with it? Did I like how it felt? Actually, that sounds kind of weird. But first off, I have to give a big thank you to Nintendo for inviting me and making these videos possible, the gameplay videos, the highlight videos, whatever it may be. Be. Nintendo made these videos possible so seriously you guys should thank Nintendo for allowing me to bring these to you and just literally like making a child a dream come true I love this stuff all right so let's get on with the show through my other videos you already know a lot of my thoughts on the switch the hardware is surprisingly very thin very light it's well built and surprisingly what shocked me the most it's so small literally my first reaction when I saw the hardware for the first time was about the size seriously this is going to be great for gaming on the go in case you guys are wondering the system in portable mode isn't going to be pocketable so it's gonna need to be treated more or less like a tablet than a smartphone so you're gonna need a bag or something for it which leads me to the one thing that you guys wanted me to talk about the most the joy con controllers yes indeed they are super small but surprisingly you guys probably weren't expecting this they are actually very comfortable to hold think of them as kind of like NES game pads with 3ds style buttons it really does feel great in the hands and I'm sure there are going to be a lot of different joy con controllers like we saw some concepts of n64 controllers, GameCube controllers. There's a lot of possibilities with this control scheme and I'm really excited to see what Nintendo puts out. Some of the games I got to play though on the controllers included Sonic Mania, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Snipper Clips, Breath of the Wild, and ARMS. ARMS though, I've got to say was truly the best showcase of motion controls and the HD rumble. The motion controls on the Joy-Con are incredibly accurate and the new rumble adds a, just a sense of realism to it. If you're thinking about comparing ARMS to Wii Boxing, you are totally off. Let's Let's hope more developers take advantage of it so we can see if HD Rumble will truly be as groundbreaking as they say. It certainly does have a lot of potential. Out of all of the games that I played though, you're going to be surprised at this. My favorite of the bunch was probably Snipper Clips. Let me tell you a little bit about that game. That was the only game that we were playing where Nintendo reps actually told us, you guys actually look like you were having tons of fun playing that because me and my friend actually were. It was so very fun. Now on to one of the main highlights that a lot of you guys probably want to hear about switching from TV mode to portable mode. When I switch from TV mode to portable mode multiple times while playing Breath of the Wild, believe it or not, the transition literally when taking it out of the dock was seamless. There was not even a performance hiccup. You literally take it out of the dock and it's literally right there on the portable. So if you're wondering if the system is better while it's docked or if it's better in portable mode, it really depends. It really is a matter of preference because the gameplay is exactly the same on the portable mode as it is on the TV. Obviously, you do get the higher resolution output on the TV, but the portable mode screen is actually something that I get a lot of comments on in my gameplay video because the portable screen on the switch is so very sharp that was another thing that I was very shocked at because it does not look 720p at all so if you're looking to know if it's better while docked or better in portable mode just know that the gameplay is going to be exactly the same however you prefer to play my friends is the way of the switch overall though I've got to say that my first experience with the switch was so very good I was very impressed with it the games look incredibly sharp in portable mode the controls scheme works very well and it truly does just switch from portable to TV mode in an instant. I always say this when I talk about a new Nintendo console but they always like to try something new whether it fails, whether it takes off, whether it's motion controls on the Wii, gamepad on the Wii U, 3D on the 3DS, whatever it may be they always try something new and this is certainly no different. If there's one thing that you take away from this video trust me you guys are going to love the Switch. Get so very hyped because March is coming! Alrighty guys, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe for a lot more coming your way. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of the Switch. There's a lot happening. Oh my goodness, we cannot wait for it to come out. It's awesome. You guys are seeing it firsthand here, and there's going to be a lot coming your way also as well. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.